Now, do you talk to Danielle often, or are you not on speaking terms? We've actually started talking on the phone for a little while. And what the mother did when she found out we're having communications was, one, she's um, made complaints to my place of employment, made police reports saying that I'm harassing and threatening my daughter, and then they changed her phone number. And I, I want to tell you something, Dominic. There's one thing that really, really bugs me about this whole conversation aspect is that on her birthday, her 14th birthday, um, I called her and we were talking and then they pulled the phone from, from her and hung up. And I heard all the giggling in the background, all these men in the background. I thought it was a joke. Then later in the night, my nine-year-old wanted to call her and wish her a happy birthday. And the phone rang and it rang. They answered and nobody was speaking. So my son said, um, you know, like something to the effect of happy birthday, Danielle. And it was quiet. And then all of a sudden, the guy got on the phone and said, she calls me daddy now, not you anymore, and hung up. Not Whoa. only was that the most disgusting thing that I've ever heard, but now you put my nine-year-old son, who's confused as is of what's going on, and to expose him of your nonsense, Dominic, that was totally uncalled for. Totally uncalled for. And for I know who did it, and Daniel even confessed to me and told me who did it. And if you want to deny um, that it was you, it, it's very – see, these guys are, are – they think they're, they're, they're sly. So, Dominic, in my 24 years of law enforcement experience, all you need to do is subpoena the phones, the locators are on, and it'll show who was right next to Danielle during that date and time of the phone that was made, and, and we have the person that did it. So they could sit and say that they didn't do it. I know your voice. I know who you are. Who tells uh, a nine-year-old child – who says that to a boy? Do you think that it was a rapper that did that? Like, because she's hanging out with a lot of them. No, it was it was her babysitter, her bodyguard. Her bodyguard. I call him, I call, I call him a babysitter because why? Did, tell me again, David. Why does a fourteen year old need, need a bodyguard? Really? It, it's all. Yeah. It's, it's part of a show. You know, it, it's this. It's like if Danielle went to Publix, like to a supermarket by herself, no one would like really pretty much know who she was. But when they do this whole entourage thing, you know, the six foot tall. You know, the tattoo, the muscle man, the management team, the call of TMZ, that's what gets the, the, uh, the attraction, you know? Um, yeah. so like, you know, you know, Dominic, like, she's talented around LA and Hollywood. You know, there's so many celebrities there. Why all of a sudden are there all of a sudden eight cameras all over her? Because the management team calls TMZ and, and, and they do a little publicity stunt. TMZ posted an article about you saying that you are no longer paying child support. Is this true, and how much have you been paying in child support per month? Well, first of all, it's not true. What I wanted to do is I wanted to abate child support. There's a difference between stop paying child support. So for, for now, for the majority of the 14 years, I've been paying close to $1,100 a month in child support. And I pay so much is because... Barbara has manipulated the system and, and, you know, said she couldn't work and she had all this nonsense about her disability. And my, my thing is this. Why am I paying $1,100 a month in child support when she lives in various different Airbnb homes, pranced around Hollywood, uh, all brand new clothing, jewelry. There's pictures of, of Barbara and her getting these gold grills with diamonds on it, you know, new Nike sneakers, you know, fancy dinners. You know, travels from, from New York to Atlanta to Miami to L.A. What am I paying child support for? You know, there's, there's interesting, Dominic. There's, there's a, one of the police reports out of many, out of the 50 to 60 to 70 times the police went to, to Barbara's house here in Florida. One of the police reports is that Daniel stole Barbara's um, um, designer handbags. One designer handbag was, I think, $1,300, and then she had a $500 uh, purse. Where is she getting this money from when she's on disability? Explain that to me. Dominic, I mean, explain to me where Barbara got $70,000 to give her ex-boyfriend, who she's suing right now. And why am I paying $1,100 a month? You know, that ex-boyfriend reached out to me, and he said, Ira, every two weeks when I check him in for child support, Barbara was happy. It was like a shopping spree. And then what really got to me was he said, Ira, she gave me some of that money for me to pay my own child support. That really bothered me. Why is this money not going to my child? And, Dominic, I'm saying this stuff because it's not made up. It's people telling me this stuff. I'm paying so much money in legal fees, $1,100 in child support, and they're, they're making tons of money. You know, it, it's also interesting because we've been asking for their financials, and they put, like, a protective order on it, and then we finally got a, uh, 
uh, a court order to get it, and they were due on the 26th of last month. They still haven't produced them. And then in between that, you know what they wanted to do? They wanted me to have a gag order that I didn't share Danielle's and Barbara's financials with the media because they're afraid that I'd share it with the media. You know what, Dominic? I, I don't care. I'm not going to share that with the media. That's, that's for me to help me stop paying child support. I have a wife and two guilt and children, children, children uh, to support as well. So the, the thing is, look, the, if the media wants her financials, they've got their attorneys, Dominic. You know that. You guys, you're, you're in the media. You know how to get your, your public records. You go in there and, and fight for them. I'm not going to go call up uh, a tabloid and say, hey, look, Danielle's this, Danielle's that. Listen, they're blo- they're, they don't want me to see it because they don't want me to see who's making money off of her, how much money is being made. And to be honest with you, all these years, her dad has been paying a lot of her bills, and I guarantee you a lot of this, this, these, these contracts and all this stuff, I, money is being laundered. So that's, yeah. that's the thing with, with, you know, with TMZ, running the fact that you know, they call me Papa Cash. <laughs> really funny. Papa Cash. Maybe I should trademark that and sell T-shirts and pay for my legal fees. I mean, yeah. I have a brand of underwear called Papa Cash Underwear. I just came up with an idea to pay for my legal fees. I'll, I'll, I'll go to an underwear brand and say, hey, I think I sell a lot, a, quite a lot of pair of underwear. Let's, uh, let's work on that after this, this interview. Yeah, you, you and I, we're we're going to find a, an underwear brand and uh, you call called Papa Cash Underwear. Papa Cash, right, ac- right across the back of them. I love it. Uh, Danielle's music videos and live videos are very sexual. Do you feel like she's being influenced to be sexual even though she's only 14 years old? Yes. And they don't care, you know, Dom, they don't care if it's a million people who despise Danielle. As long as they click on the YouTube video, click on the Instagram, get their messages across, the, the, the product placement, the advertisements, the whatever, they don't care. As long as they're getting the traction, Dominic, that's all they care about. Do you think, you know how horrible it is when I watch some of these comments? about these pedophiles, these comments, they say to her what they want to do to her. Now, when you say they, are you referring to like, her management team? Yes, uh, her management team, absolutely. It was reported that Danielle's getting $40,000 for an appearance. To your knowledge, is that is she really receiving that amount for an appearance? No, and I'll tell you this is the deal. So, Dominic, when, when she first got out, the whole thing was about her reality show. Reality show, reality show, bad babies, reality show, and blah, blah, blah. They probably couldn't get a network or anybody else to, to, to sign on it. They would call TMZ. TMZ would do an article, and then 50 other people would, would feed off of that. Then she had this nonsense of this $40,000 appearance, appearance at this rap festival in Miami. It never happened. Then after that, it was her tour. You remember the tour that she was going to go from uh, Fort Lauderdale to to somewhere in, in, in Texas, I think, and she was going to go on stage and, and lip sync and make fun of other people. That never happened. So, you know, they, they say all this stuff for the traction to, to get people to, to read articles, to, to keep the, the, this, this path of destruction alive. And, you know, think about Danielle. Do they tell her that it's going to happen and they never do? I mean, are they giving her a false sense of, of hope? Or are they just saying, hey, Danielle, we're going to bullshit now? And, and we're just going to say this so, so we can get more hits on your, on your stuff. Why do, you, why do you do that stuff? I mean, $40,000? That's a lot of money. I mean, tell me uh, uh, some other celebrities that, that, uh, that ask for that kind of money. And, and we'll talk parallel of between my daughter and who they are. You know, I mean, that's, that's a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah. Just for, for, for meet and greet and to sign some, some autographs? Or they, they threw her out one night, some, some event, to sign autographs for $5 an autograph. Don't, don't compare her to, to other celebrities. That, 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 that's nonsense. These people took advantage of a vulnerable child who needed care. And she didn't get the care, so what did they do? They saw a victim out there and they prayed on her. They prayed on her and they took her. Every one of them I despise. So basically, forty thousand dollars of appearance is a lie, and her having her own reality TV is a lie. Like those are just made up, like just to get um, just to get exposure. Correct. And and then her getting a ninety thousand dollar Porsche is that also untrue? Uh, yes. Yeah. Look, she went. She went. I guess they were at a shopping plaza. She leaned against the Porsche, took a picture of it, and all of a sudden now she's buying a ninety thousand dollar Porsche. 
So is it safe to say that before the world knew Danielle, like Danielle's always been a troubled child? Dominic, Danielle has been exposed to more things than, than any other child a human being should never be exposed to. And again, I wish I wish I was the person that was there. I was told by one of her best friends that she stole a car one day to try to come find me. Now, you mentioned that Danielle's doing music with rapper Kodak Black. Is Kodak Black someone that you want your daughter around? <laughs> you you give me one name of one father that they want Kodak Black around. Tell me. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> tell me one parent. Kodak Black is a guy who Daniel did the first video on. Then Kodak Black was doing some Instagram Live with my daughter. And my daughter said, oh, the boyfriend's coming over. And he said, oh, you're going to put your P-U-S-S-Y on as you know what. Who talks to a, 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 a 13, 14-year-old child like that? I think it's appropriate. Kodak Black is a convicted felon, violent felon, crimes against children, drugs, guns, and that's who they allow her to associate with? To put his arm around my daughter? NBA young boy arrested for a drive-by double shooting? NBA young boy posts on his Facebook account with a picture of my daughter with a bunch of cash saying, catch me outside Pornhub? Referring to her as we all know what Pornhub is. Mm. You know, those are the people that the management team sets her up with. And don't forget, those are the two same people who are signed with the same record company as my daughter. You know, Dominic, I want her to do well. If she's singing, not getting in trouble, I want her to do well. You know, she could sing about me, but sing about the truth. I mean, in her song with, with Kodak Black, Danielle says, my daddy ain't buying it. He left me private and then tried to come back when he's seen I was shining, but fuck him. Like, how did that, hearing that make you feel, um, and are you truly trying to be in Danielle's life now that she's shining? Number one, I don't want any of Danielle's money, and I've said it before. That money is like drug money. That's like terrorist money. That is dirty money, period. Barbara tried three times to get Danielle on Dr. Phil. And she got it. And who would expose a, her, their child like that to the world? I mean, I, I, I'm watching and I'm her father. And I'm like, this behavior is atrocious. And you're sharing it with the world. Do you believe that Danielle has talent as a recording artist? How about this? Do I, do I think that Millie Vanilli was awesome? You saw what happened to Millie Vanilli. <laughs> don't don't just all of a sudden have TMZ write an article. Oh, she just signed a record deal with Touch and Touch Record Company. I want to listen to the to, to the words to the rapping before the music and the digital enhancement is done. And then and then I want to say that. So basically, she never showed any interest or talent like in in singing and rapping, and now they're just digitally enhancing her to sound better. Is that is that pretty much? Is That's that what, right. She's never done. She's never. If you watch some of the videos, she's got so many. She's tried to. She's tried to sing. It, it wasn't. It wasn't to a point where it was part of a, you know, kidding a record deal. But I think they worked so hard on getting her something, so they could call her something. Because every other venture, like we talked about, failed. Every parent to see that first stroke of the piano key, the first, you know, acapella, the first, you know, oh, my God, daddy, oh, my God, daddy, um, look how I'm progressing. Not all of a sudden, bam, I got a record deal. I mean, really, she hasn't practiced singing all of her life. Yeah. Bam, I got a record deal. That's like me, me going to, I'm going to go to the, the Mommy Dolphins tryouts, and I'm going to try out to be a quarterback. And next week, guess what? On Sunday, Dominic, I'm starting as a quarterback because I am Papa Cash, and they're going to sell a million tickets to the game because everybody wants to see Papa Cash. They don't care how I can throw the football. <clears throat> they don't care if I get it in the end zone. That's the mentality. It doesn't matter the quality of talent. It's a matter of traction and how many people click on and watch. But, Danielle, I just want to let you know I love you, Danielle, and I want you to do well. I really want you to do well. But I want to be part of it, and I want to give you some guidance. That's all I'm asking. 
so Dominic, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that uh, that this is all a bunch of hype made up. I think a majority of it is, but I want her to do better. I want her to go out and uh, and get and get lessons. Like I think she did one. I think her management team was able to set up one piano lesson with uh, this producer who produced some of these things. And me and Danielle talked about that once on the phone. She goes, Daddy, aren't you proud of me that I, that, I, that I went to a music lesson? I said, a music lesson. And they did it for a publicity stunt. So think about those millions of people who, 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 who focused their whole entire life to get that opportunity that my daughter has gotten. And the yeah. doors have been shut in their face. These are all good people. Those are people who thrive, who, who, who've, who've all their hard-earned money who sleep in a studio, who might be homeless, who are thriving for the opportunity for someone just to listen to their music or their instrument playing. And I ask two things of these supporters out there. One, don't, don't trash my daughter um, on social media, you know, with those harsh comments of wanting to kill herself and, and all that kind of stuff. And if anybody sees things about these pedophiles doing this stuff, huh, please comment and try to protect her. Because I, I can't, and if I do, and that person doesn't like it, what do they do? They call my place of employment, internal affairs, and makes a complaint about me. So everybody else can go out there and help me protect my door. Hey, everybody, this is Ira Pestwick. You're listening to the Dominic Natty Show.